Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So on day four, the idea is miniaturization. We want to use the same motor motorbike switch for control and wire that directly to an, a Raspi inspiring driver board sat on a Pi Zero W. I've done it without the header on the driver board. I've soldered it directly to the header on the Pi. The idea here being that it's as thin as possible. As soon as I finished soldering it all up and making it, I couldn't find a case that would fit it adequately without requiring too much surgery. So I'm just going to wrap it in a bit of red heat shrink. So that's why I'm showing it now because we won't be able to see it afterwards. The wires will all have to go in one end or the other and there will be strain relief. But basically I've got six wires to connect. And what still remains to be done is to mount it all on the bike in the best way I can think of. Just a very quick look at the board that I've made up. We've got all the wires for the buttons here and all the wires for the LEDs here and you can see there's some pull-ups for the buttons and pull-downs for the C and D clock and data ports. Because some of the colours are overlapping, I've used the cable ties to separate out the groups of wires so I don't get confused. And now I'm going to shrink wrap it. I'm going to put this piece of heat shrink around it. I thought you'd quite like to see that. Fun. So I've snipped off the pins from the header so that it, the shrink wrap will slip on more easily. And I'm going to need that port available afterwards, so I'm probably going to have to cut a hole in it. But let's let's do the the sh shrink wrap thing first. I've got cable ties separating the two groups of wires. One set of wires is for the LEDs and one set is for the control buttons. Okay, I think that's in. Let's heat gun it. Heat gun on. I've got quite a small nozzle on, so it's going to take a bit of time, but... Uh, you can see it's gripping the edge of the board now. Okay, let's flip it over. That's the bottom end of the pins from the GPIO header. You can see them making quite an impression. And here's the USB ports, and yep, you can just about see the mini HDMI now as well. I won't open that one, but I will be using the rightermost US micro USB port for the power, so I will scalpel that one open when I finished. Okay, so now you have pretty weatherproof pipe. I'll probably leave the ends open for a little bit of airflow, but if you didn't want to do that, what you could do is while it's hot is you get your pliers out and crimp the end so it will be closed together. I don't think I'm going to bother with that. So there you go, shrink wrapped Pi Zero. Next I needed a way of mounting the ring to the front. In the end I decided to glue it to the front reflector. So what I needed was two strips of blank PCB material. I used Gorilla Glue to stick those the right width apart to fit the reflector. The next step was to glue the reflector to those bits of PCB. And here's the view of the back. Here's the view of the bike mount. And here's the final thing. Now we get to a fairly exciting part of the process. I've installed the switch on the bike and its wires are sticking out there, ready to solder to the Pi. Then after that's done, it'll be a question of soldering these wires to the ring. Another exciting stage, the Pi is now 
mounted underneath my mobile phone stand. The switch is in place. The circle is in place on the front, mounted to the reflector. And I'm just about to solder up the wires, you can see them here, to the circle. And then it'll be time to give it a spin. After soldering the wires to the ring and applying heat shrink, I used a liberal amount of Gorilla Glue to give it some strain relief. So on day five I made some software tweaks and also discovered that it would be really useful to have some two more LEDs on the back that I could see while I was using it so that if I had the indicators going I would know. So the controls work like this, we've got turn left, turn right, lights off, lights on, full lights, and brake lights, lights off, and shut down the pie. Okay, I'm going to show you the rider's view and show you how ergonomic the lights are to use. So, let's go. We're going to turn left straight away, so let's click left. Turn that off and we're going to drop a couple of gears, make a quick circle using left and right. Okay, now here we go. Turning left and cancel. See so your hands already in the right place because it's where you want to be for the gears. And make a left. And now let's go back and cancel. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.